Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Before I get into today's reading, I really just want to take some time to thank you all for your ongoing support. Thank you all for your ongoing love. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel and getting the channel to 100,000 subscribers. Guys, I am so grateful. My heart is so full. I appreciate every single one of you and I love every single one of you. So again, thank you guys for the 100,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. So let's get straight into this reading. Um, please remember this may not resonate for everyone. And we're going to find out what spirit wants you to know. Okay, so there's this energy here of I'm kind of getting that somebody is having a hard time opening their heart, okay, this could be you, but it could be somebody attached to you as well, I'm getting that whoever I'm picking up on though, then a little bit of an issue here kind of connecting to your heart, your heart chakra may be closed off, um, which again, I'm kind of getting it's causing whoever I'm picking up on to be insensitive, it's causing them to maybe come off a little bit cold as well, like people may perceive this person as somebody that is cold or they have no feelings or they have no emotions when that's not the case at all, this person's heart chakra is completely closed off, right? But for some of you, I'm kind of getting that this is the Divine Feminine, that heart chakra is closed off. Um, so if you're the Divine Feminine in this connection, you may be kind of struggling with your heart chakra being closed off. Um, people may be kind of, if people come to you for advice, you may be very like cutthroat with the advice. You may be very blunt, um, which may kind of come off as insensitive to some people, right? But I am getting this energy of, I don't know, whoever I'm picking up on, this may be a choice as well. Like, Somebody may be closing off their heart chakra on purpose, um, whether this is you or you're the person that you're dealing with. For some of you, it could be the person that you're dealing with and it, then it could be affecting you as well. So it's like if you're usually somebody that's very caring, very loving, very empathetic, right, then all of a sudden you may be somebody that's coming off kind of cold, um, kind of insensitive, right, and it could be because somebody that you're connected to, their heart chakra is cloned off, but this person keeps their heart chakra cloned off on purpose, because they don't like to be vulnerable, they don't like to, they don't really like to tap in to the feminine energy either, I'm getting this energy of, I even could be picking up on a divine feminine that is having a hard time actually receiving, right? And the feminine energy is all about receiving. So you may actually be very closed off to receiving. You may, even people may be hesitant to give to you, okay, because you're so closed off to receiving. And again, it could be because somebody that is attached to you. Now, I am getting this could be a divine counterpart that's attached to you that's kind of closing off their heart chakra on purpose and you're so connected to this person that your heart chakra is closing off, okay? You may not even realise that this is happening. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, then something that you want to receive, right? Like this could be, for example, a text message. This could be a gift. Maybe it's like a compliment. Maybe it's money, right? Whoever I'm speaking to, you really need to work on your heart chakra. You really need to practice receiving as well. You may have a hard time tapping into the feminine energy naturally. You may be somebody that 
even if you are supposed to be a divine feminine, you're very closed off to the feminine energy to receiving. Like you may be a feminine that prefers to be in the masculine energy as well. Okay. Um, you may do this. Um, this also could be a defense mechanism, right? Maybe you've been forced to kind of get into that masculine energy without really knowing it. And you may not be comfortable in the feminine energy. But I'm getting this strong message. Once somebody here, and I'm getting that it's the divine feminine, once the divine feminine opens up their heart, and once the divine feminine gets comfortable in the feminine energy and receiving, that's when a spiritual union is going to come in. That's when their divine union is going to come in. Okay, and I just need five, five, five. So if you guys are waiting for like a union, if you guys are waiting for your divine counterpart, I'm kind of getting that energy. Or if you guys are just having a hard time in general, receiving your manifestation, switch to the feminine energy. For some people, this is not as easy, you know, it's easier said than done. So what you want to do is kind of practice receiving, right? For example, um, somebody that's very heavily set in the masculine energy will have a hard time receiving, right? For example, somebody may offer you something, they may offer you a free coffee, and you may be like, hey, no, it's okay, I'll pay. That's masculine energy, right? So what you want to do is kind of practice receiving. When somebody offers you something, for example, the coffee, somebody offers you a free coffee, you want to take it and say thank you because now you have received and now you are practicing being in that feminine energy, okay? Because you have to remember the feminine energy is all about receiving, right? Whoever I'm speaking to, you're a very strong manifester. Whoever I'm speaking to, there's also a very profound connection, like a divine connection here. But it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You could be manifesting this divine connection. Or you may be manifesting something and it's not coming in. And it's because you are not connected to your heart. And you're not open to receive. Right? Whoever I'm speaking to, once you get into this feminine energy, even if you're a man, okay? Like, I don't have to be speaking to females right now because these are just energies that we both embody, right? I like to also, like, some people are very uncomfortable with the masculine feminine. You can also look at it as yin and yang. Or you can also look at it as, like, the receiving and the giving energy, okay? You don't really have to, like, look at it as masculine and feminine because so many people think masculine means, like, man and feminine means female, which is not the case. But I do, I am speaking to a divine feminine, somebody that embodies a divine feminine energy, or they're supposed to, but they're so closed off to their feminine energy. I'm also picking up on, um, whoever I'm speaking to, you may actually be in the masculine energy because you may be in a relationship with somebody that you kind of, they're in the feminine, you're in the masculine, regardless of gender, right? But the thing is, you seem to be the masculine in this connection. It doesn't have to be a romantic one either. This could be maybe a friendship or like, you know, a connection with a parent or something, right? But there seems to be this connection in your life where you're forced into this masculine role, right? And the other person's in the feminine, okay? But the thing is, it's like you kind of have all the responsibility, okay, you may actually be the breadwinner of, you know, this connection, or you may kind of be giving all the time, okay, never receiving, might be something, a connection where you're not used to receiving, you're used to kind of just giving everything, you know, to everyone else, um, so whoever I am speaking to, there is this cycle that had formed, where, you are supposed to be in the feminine energy, it's supposed to be a natural for you, but you may have spent a long time having to be in this masculine energy. Now this also may happen um, like to single parents 
and things like that okay you know when um a single parent has to kind of look after everything they may then go from somebody that won't naturally in the feminine energy to then having to be in the masculine energy and again it's like a cycle that you have to break and you kind of have to be very conscious of what you're doing so again really practice receiving also spend a lot of time with water okay and cold water is better in my opinion um warm water is fine as well but there's something about just even just sitting in a cold bath or having a cold shower that is so feminine it also really for me when i have a hard time getting into the feminine energy i'd love to just um have a meditation under a cold shower and pretend that it's a waterfall and when i come out i feel completely brand new and i'm able to then relax again if you run your own business or you know you're somebody that's very independent, you may find it very hard to get into that feminine energy and you may have to do things, right? Also, make sure you're drinking a lot of water as well. I poured that on 11.11. Um, water is just very feminine. It's, it's like going with the flow, okay? And that's another thing you want to do is kind of go with the flow. If you're somebody that's very routine-based, um, and I understand, you know, with work and everything, you guys kind of have to keep a routine, but... Maybe on your weekend, you know, try not to be so routine based, try not to plan so much, go with the flow. If somebody invites you out last minute, go for it, you know, um, you never know what opportunities, you know, will be there, you never know. Because I believe that nothing is a coincidence, everything is a sign, okay, and sometimes spirit really... You know, you always meet people, you know, at the right time. Everything's very divinely guided. Sometimes, um, you know, you can definitely be led astray. Um, but it's very important for you guys to, like, be in that feminine energy so you guys can really be in touch with your intuition as well. And once you guys are in touch with your intuition and you guys are on a high vibration... Everything will come into place, including a very divine union. Now, this is a very spiritual connection, a soul connection that you may think is over. Your person may also be acting very immature. I'm also getting that this energy switch. It's like when you're in the masculine, they're in the feminine, okay? So if you want communication from this person, guys, you're actually going to need to get into the feminine energy because you can manifest communication from them all you want or you can wait for communication all you want but if you're in that masculine energy masculine they're the go-getters okay so your person would be in the feminine and it's crazy how you guys switch right so when your person's in the feminine they're all in that receiving energy i just seen 13 13 and you're in that giving energy so if you do want communication with your person switch the energy Get into that feminine energy and you will see this person chasing you. This is also like with twin flames and these divine connections, they always talk about the runner and the chaser. If you really think about that, the runner is the person in the um, feminine energy and the chaser is the person in the masculine energy, right? Because the masculine is a chasing energy and the feminine is a receiving energy, right? So when you see things like the divine masculine is the runner, um, that's usually because the masculine or the man is actually in the feminine energy and the woman is in the, um, in the masculine energy. I hope that makes sense, guys. It might not make sense, but if it does, let me know in the comments. But again, I am getting that whoever I'm speaking to, it's like you're stuck in this masculine energy. Opportunities are not coming in. They're there. They're waiting to come in. And I'm getting that whoever I'm speaking to, you've been manifesting everything. But maybe you're not getting results and it's because you are having a hard time actually getting in that feminine energy, actually relaxing, actually receiving, right? For some of you, you're also waiting for somebody to kind of reach out to you, to communicate with you. This person seems to be in a very depressive depressive state at the moment. 
they seem to be really upset, okay? They also, this, this very, um, go with the flow energy with them, okay? They may be making very impulsive decisions. But this person at the moment, they're in the feminine energy, right? And even though they want this happily ever after, they're not prepared or they're not in the energy to actually go get it because you're in the masculine energy, right? And again, you may be doing this for some type of defense mechanism, you know, it may have started at a young age or you may have just been in a connection or some type of connection where you were always doing everything and everybody relied on you. You also may be a business owner and a very independent person, so... You're in that masculine energy, you're in that go-getter energy where your divine counterparts in the feminine energy. Whoever I'm speaking to though, you're supposed to be the divine feminine. So you do need to kind of practice getting back into that feminine energy and opening up your heart. You may be kind of angry out of nowhere, you know, you may be like frustrated out of nowhere. You may, even when you're trying to relax, you may feel like you can't relax. Um... Again, really try to connect with the water, practice receiving, um, do meditation to open up your heart, also eat whole food, okay? Try to cut down on anything processed. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are such an intuitive person, such a loving person, such an empath empathetic person, okay? You are so div divine here, right? And you are so loved and you are so loving. But the thing is, at the moment, you're in this masculine energy and you may not even feel right. You may feel, I'm just getting just this overstressed, okay? These burdens, okay? Also, you may feel like you're not living in your truth. Because you're actually supposed to be in the feminine energy, right? Whoever I'm speaking to, you've taken on this habit of taking on all the responsibility and looking after everyone. And it's really time to kind of tap back into that feminine energy so you can now receive all the blessings that you've been manifesting. And one of the blessings here is a divine counterpart. It's happily ever after with a divine counterpart. As soon as you get into your divine feminine energy and open your heart and be open to receive, this person, this divine, uh, this divine counterpart will come rushing in so quick that you will wish that you did this earlier, okay? Especially if this is somebody that you've been waiting on. When you switch back into your feminine energy, your person switches back into their masculine energy. And again, in this connection, with this spiritual connection, you are supposed to be the divine feminine. They're supposed to be the divine masculine. I am getting that your connections in the past, you've been the masculine, even though you were supposed to be the divine feminine, you were the masculine, your partners were the feminine, you were looking after everything, you were taking on all the burden, you were probably organising all the dates, things like that. Um, with this connection... This is a very strong soul connection where you're the divine feminine. So you're going to have to kind of break the habit that you've made, okay? Being in the masculine all the time. Now, I'm not saying don't be independent, don't go get your own money. I'm not saying all that, guys, you know? But a healthy balance is required, right? But with you, you're supposed to be in that feminine, okay? You're a master manifester. You know, you're such a beautiful person with such a beautiful spirit. And, you know, you're supposed to be able to receive everything, receive. You're not supposed to be giving, okay, especially in this connection. And the more that you tap into your feminine energy, the more this person taps into their masculine energy. Because no matter where you go or who you're with, you will notice um, one of the person, like when you're with people, right, you will notice, yeah, that your energy may switch naturally. It definitely happens with me where I'm with people. And if I'm with more feminine people, I tend to go into a masculine energy. And if I'm with more masculine people, I tend to go in a feminine energy, right? So this happens, right? Just 
naturally, right? With this connection, though, you seem to this seems to be your divine counterpart, and they're supposed to be in the masculine, but they're in the feminine. The more that you go into your feminine, they practice their masculine, and you may even see this person gifting you things while you're in your feminine, definitely reaching out to you, okay, definitely trying to pursue you, right? So again, whoever I'm speaking to, really try practice getting into that feminine energy for now, okay, because that's when you're going to receive for one divine union, but also all the blessings, new opportunities that you've been manifesting. That's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next reading.